Welcome back to Tracking That, a channel where we try to track what liberals are saying but end up not being able to as usual. So Joe Scarborough was taken off the air on his terrible show, Morning Joe, because MSNBC didn't want Joe to say something stupid after the attempted Trump assassination. He probably would have said Trump deserved it, it was Trump's fault, yada yada yada. It would have been a terrible look for MSNBC, even though they can't get much worse with how bad their programming is. And he threw a hissy fit on his show this morning. Let me just say, <laughs> we, next time we're told there's going to be a news feed replacing us, <laughs> we will be in our we'll chairs. We'll be sitting here. Yeah, and the news feed will be us, or... <laughs> They can get somebody else sitting here. to host the show. And he's one of the many problems the mainstream media has created. That is division. Trump was not the cause of it. They paint him out to be a bad guy. There's nothing new about that. And the Democrats are the party of violence, abortion, and warmongers. We've seen that in the Black Lives Matter riots, the new wars around the world, etc. Here we have Tucker Carlson speaking everybody's mind on the real reason as to why the Trump attempted assassination has happened. You had predicted about a year ago that an assassination attempt on Trump was likely. How did we get here? Um, well, we got here, uh, you know, disaster has many authors, so um, we got here for a bunch of different reasons. I think there's been, I say this as someone who's been in the media my whole life, 33 years, an extraordinary amount of recklessness and dishonesty in the American news media, which is loathsome. Um, the legacy media, the big companies that I spent my life working for, um, have really dedicated themselves to lying uh, in a very cruel and vicious way. You know, people like Joe Scarborough did a lot, I think, um, to make assassination attempts like that possible. Um, they're comfortable with violence. Scarborough especially is comfortable with violence, but a lot of them are, I think. And uh, so they, they should be ashamed they're not, but they should be. But I think more broadly, you know, there's a lot going on um, that is unseen. There's a lot of evil all of a sudden in this country. I never noticed it before. I'm not saying it wasn't here, but I, in the 55 years I've been here, I never, I haven't seen it like I've seen it in the last year. You know, people really being vicious, people espousing cruelty and killing, people telling you that abortion for its own sake or war for its own sake is a good thing. Like, what is that? You know, that's evil. So there's a lot of that. And this is, I would say, a manifestation of it. You know, at some point we may find out what happened on Saturday a guy with a rifle wound up on a building, you know, that close with a ladder and all these people saw it and the Secret Service, they're like, what is that? You know, it's not crazy to think that there was something there. It was an effort to kill Trump. and It wasn't just a lone gunman who was killed, uh, that it was something else. So I knew the shooter purchased 50 rounds of ammunition, but I had no idea that he brought a ladder to this. That makes a crazy situation even more crazy. But I did a whole piece of this yesterday explaining why I believe a large portion of this security failure had to do with failed leadership, not being able to make a decisive decision on shooting the target, incompetence, and the fact that the Secret Service was a DEI organization at that rally. So was it a setup? That's absolutely a possibility. Do I think all Secret Service agents were on board or aware? No. I think it could be a possibility that whoever scheduled the agents for that event made it weak on purpose because that female group gaggle was ridiculous. But I have good news. This image is going viral at the RNC because now there's large, strong, competent men protecting the president and absolutely surrounding him. So that problem shall be fixed and hopefully it remains that way. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.